Hello guys and welcome to another video in the series of Linux tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about ncal command, date command and time date ctl command. So let's begin. First of all, ncal command is used to print the calendar. If I press enter, you will see it will print me the calendar of the current month and of the current year. If I want the calendar of any particular year with all the months, then I can give the year as an argument. For instance, I can give here 2020. It will give me the calendar of 2020 year. Now, if I want to print the calendar of any specific month of any specific year, then I can also provide here month. For instance, I can write here 2 which stands for the February. So, if I press enter, it will give me the calendar of February 2020. By default, the representation is column wise. For instance, the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday are written in the particular column. If you want to put in a particular row, then you can give here option as dash B. Okay. So, if I press enter, you will see now Sunday, Monday are in the particular row and accordingly the output is shown. Now, if you also want to print the week count, then you can give the option here as W and let me give here only year that is 2020. Sorry, I have to specify here lowercase W. Okay. Now you will see that it will also give us the week count. For instance, for the January 2020, this is our week 1, then this will be our week 2, week 3. Similarly, if you see here for the May 2020, this will be our week number 18. If you want to print the week number of any particular month then you can also give here month number let's say third okay that is the march so it will also give the week count of the third month of 2020 okay so this will be the ninth week number of the year then 10 then 11 then 12 then 30. now in case if you want to print the previous month current month and the next month then you can give the simple option here that is the three okay so it will print as the previous month calendar the current month calendar and also the next month calendar. If you want to print the next four months, in that case, you can give the option here is as A and then give here number of months, for instance, three. Okay. So now it will print the current month and next three months. Okay. If you want to print the previous year, previous months, then you can give the option here as dash capital B. Okay. So now if you will see with the May, the previous was April, then March, and then it was. February. You can also print the calendar using the dash D option and provide here some year and date. For instance, I can write here 2016 and then the month that let's say 2 as a February, right? So it will give me the calendar of February 2016. After that, we have date command. By default, the date command give us the current day that is Saturday, the date, the time and the time zone. We can also use various format specifiers. For instance, I can write here date plus and I can give here percent %a. Okay. Percent %a will give me the name of the day. Similarly, we can also use here percent capital D to know the entire date. So, entire date today is 1st May 2021. Similarly, you can also give here percent %d to know only the current date number. That is the 1st of May. So, it will give me 1. Okay. After that, we can also use here B, which will give me the name of the month. If I press enter, you will see that the day is 01 and the month is May. For the year, you can write here percent %y. For whether it is AM or PM, you can use here percent %p. And also for time zone, you can write here percent of %z. If I press enter, you will see that the year is 2021, then the, it is PM. And the time zone is IST that is Indian Standard Time. Now there are various other format specified that can be used. For, to, list it, to list all this, you can view the manual page and may open it with the nano command line text editor. And if I if you see here, there are a lot number of format specifier ca that can be used. For instance, there is percent %a, percent %b, then there is capital B, like that. So there are a lot number of format specifier that can be used. Okay. So let me close it. After that, we have one important option with the date that is the dash D option using which you can print any particular date. For instance, we can give here strings like last Sunday. Okay. So it will give me the date information of the last Sunday. Similarly, we can also give here next, let's say Tuesday. So instead of using here short form, you can also use the entire string that is Tuesday. Okay, so it will give me the date that will be in the next Tuesday. 
similarly we can also use here next year okay so i'll write here next year the date will be sunday 01 and this will be the time note that the year is 2022 and also at the first may the day will be sunday currently in today it is saturday right now you may also use some other strings like yesterday okay or we can write here last let's say monday or we can write here something like 10 day ago or for 10 days after you can simply write here 10 day so it will give me what will be the date after 10 days also you can give here tomorrow okay tomorrow right and uh, you may also give here something like date itself so i can write here 0 2 that is the month then i will provide here date that is 15 and then the year let's say 2020 uh, 20 okay so this is the date information just like this you may also use here seconds so i can write here five second ago or we can also write here five hour only that will give me the date information after the five hours okay so this will be the information note the time and date has been changed so in case if you want to find out the date information of any particular day or the relative day information then you can use the dash d option okay now if you want to print the utc time then you can give the option here as dash u okay so it will give us the utc time now if you want to print the date information of any particular time zone in that case you have to provide the time zone information in the tz variable for that we have to first list out all the time zone for that we can use the time date ctl command and give the option here as list time zones okay so it will give me the list of time zones so let me press q right and now what can i do i can write here tz equals to give here any time zone for instance i will give here america then slash adec okay this one right and now i will give here date sorry i have to write something like tz equals to america slash adec then date okay so it will provide me the information of this particular time zone after that we have the time date ctl command whose purpose is to set the time and date okay first of all we can view the status which will give me the local time universal time and the related information okay now if you want to list out the all the zones then the option that we see previously it was list time zones okay so it will list me all the time zones available if you want to open this list in the nano then you can pipe it to the nano okay so now i can easily search here for instance i will search the time zones of some asia okay so here are some of the time zones so let me copy it let's say asia slash bangkok okay now i can use here that is time date ctl command and give here option as set time zone okay and now i will provide here our time zone that was asia slash bangkok right now if i do here time date ctl then it is set to the bangkok note that our date and time has also been changed accordingly okay now i will make it to the default one so it was asia call kata okay now if i again see it time date ctl then you will see my date has again been changed to the current one and the time zone is asia slash kolkata right now let's clear it similarly you can also change the date and time for that you can use the option here that is set time okay and provide here the uh, date or time so i can write here 2019 then the month let's say 02 and then the date let's say 28 i can also provide here the time so 15 23 okay currently i am unable to set the time and date because the synchronization of time is has been enabled okay so for synchronization of the time ntp protocol that is the network time protocol is used and by default it is set enabled okay if you want to disable it then you have to use the option here as ntp and then give here zero zero means that we are going to disable it okay so if i press enter now it is disabled and now if i try to set the time you will see it has been set successfully right here the time is 323 and also the date has become 28th of february okay 
Now, if I set my NTP again to the true, that is the value of one, then you will see the date and time will be synchronized automatically. Okay. So if I press enter, you will see that the time has again become 11 2 p.m. and the date is 1st of May. Right. So if you want to again see all the information, you can use the time date CTL. These were some simple commands that are used to print the calendar dates and to set time and date and also time zones. Right. So that's all for today guys. I hope you like the video. If you have any doubt, please comment it down. Thanks for watching and I have to see you in the next video.